Hey everybody, welcome back with Chrono Cross Run Part 14 here now. At this point in the game, if you took the path that I took, you probably like, what the fuck do I do? Well, you gotta go back to Goldo, so that's what we're gonna do. See, if you took the other path, which is most people do take the other path because they want to try and save Kid, um... But, uh, she's fine. You just get her back now instead of earlier. Normally, you would have, um gone through the whole SS Invincible thing, you know, you would add Kid, and then you go, oh, let's go to the other world, because you have the Astral Amulet, and you can do it. You can't go through to the other world without the Astral Amulet. But in this case, you just have to think the visitor. What is going on? Where's Kid? Did not tell me she... This is pretty funny, actually. Because they think she died, and, you know... She didn't. Sergei, it's not your fault. She's got the hospital gown on. What are you guys doing? all doing there? Yeah. Boy, it's been a while, eh? Well, what's with all the astonished look on your faces? Huh? What? Where was I? Oh, yeah, I complained about this sissy gown, but then they hid me out of somewhere to stop me from trying to escape. So I had no choice but to take a walk around the village looking like this. Anyway, what's up with you guys? Did you come back because you worried about me? I ain't gonna drop dead from such a weak old poison like that. But I guess it was a pretty close call this time, eh? <laughs> but how did you neutralize the poison? Sorry, I haven't the foggiest idea either. The doc will be back this afternoon, so let's ask him then. You're here to ask me how I was able to neutralize the poison? Yeah. There's nothing to lose by knowing how, right, Doc? It was a coincidence. No, it was probably an act of fate. After you left the village, a young man came to visit me upon hearing of the patient's condition from a villager. He had brought a certain item with him. A certain item? You don't mean... Yes, it was Hydra humor. He happened to have a vial of it with him at the time. By the way, for people who played the game, and they never really come out and say who it was uh, that actually brought the Hydra humor, it was Norris. Um, it was always intended to be Norris, because you got to think, he's the poor spy, he's, you know, infiltrated the dragoons, he's from the mainland, and he's a good guy. So, that's who it was. Hey, Doc. <coughs> hey, Doc, who was that guy? Did you at least know his name? I'm sorry, I do not know. He only told me that he came from the mainland. Came from the mainland? At least give me a chance to thank him. Jeez. I hate being in debt to others. Oh, hell. When I find them, I'll... Well, that's not what I want to do. That's all I know. In the end, I proved useless as a doctor. It's not something I c that could be forgiven, but I offer my apologies. Hey, wait, Doc. What's with all the formality? No matter what else happened, you're the one that made the antidote, right? It would have been useless without you, even if we did have the right stuff. Thank you, kid. Boy, stop that. I'm the one that should be thanking you. No worries, Doc. Well, the only thing that bugs me is the guy that bought that humor, was it? <laughs> I guess I caused you blokes a heap of trouble, too. Hey, don't worry. I'm no good at this, but thanks. You know, Doc's kind of selfish. He makes it all about him. So what are you dudes planning to do next? Do you intend to continue on your journey? That's right, we still got things to take care of. We'll be leaving by tomorrow. Sergei's got a lot of problems that need to be solved. Then will you allow me to join in your party? I'd like to broaden my horizons as a doctor. Will I be too much of a nonsense to you? Well, having a doctor with us will be a great help. Besides, how can I turn down a request from me lifesaver? We're more than happy to help you. Uh, happy, happy, happy. Turn it to Randy Newman for a second. We're more than happy to have you with us. Doc, join your party, dude. All right. I don't use him, but there he is. Thank you kindly. It's gotten late, and I needed to make preparations. I'll probably be better off if we leave tomorrow. Please rest here for the night. 
Okay, kid, you can take the sissy gown off now. <laughs> sissy gown. Alright. I see. See, that's what's been going on while I was snoozing away here. You say Viper and his mob are headed for Fort Dragonia, eh? Did you hear? Fort Dragonia is the oldest rune that the Dragonians left on this planet. From what I hear, we need the Dragon Tear to activate the fort. Don't you remember, Sirka? It's that blue orb that was on the top of old Viper's desk. Blue orb. Yes, I remember. Great, so I don't have to waste me breath explaining it then. If I ain't mistaken, that orb is probably the Dragon Tear, which means that it's in the hands of old Viper right now. I cannot believe it. The General has the Dragon Tear, but why? To activate the ruin, there's no doubts about that. In any case, we can't just sit back and let this happen. Impenetrable fortress surrounded by rough terrain, and here it is also sealed by the powers of the Dragonians. Is the general trying to stop the poor military with it? How the hell should I know? Even I don't know that, but I wouldn't say it's not a possibility. Then we must head to Fort Dragonia. Unfortunately, Mount Pyra is a rugged obstacle that lies in the path to the fort. From what I've heard, the place is a fiery hell. Trying to cross the mountain unprepared will be hard going. Come to think of it, that captain said we should probably, you know, that we should obtain the divine protection of the water dragon. Rumor has it the water source is dried up due to abnormal weather. The chances of the water dragon being on the island are slim. So, in the worst case, we have to climb Mount Pyre on our own. Dragon's eh? This is getting bigger by the minute. But I think this problem can easily be taken care of. What do you mean by that? Sergey, you hold the key to our problems. You heard the story from the village shaman, right? The story about the land of Genesis? Kid, are you talking about the other world? The world where Sergey came from? Yeah, that's right. The situation in each world is different, right? Things missing in one world can be found in the other. If that's true, then we still have a chance. But how are we going to get to the other world? My amulet. Amulet? Yeah, my astral amulet. It's the other key to solving our problem. I don't know if you heard this from, from the shaman, but you need lots of power to cross the dimensions. She said it was something about the powers of hope and will. According to the shaman, this amulet has that sort of power. Normally, I would have just thought she was crazy, but this time, maybe I ought to listen to her. This amulet alone ain't enough to cross dimensions, though. We need the other key to make the connection between this world and the other world. A connection. So you're saying that Sergei is this key? According to the shaman, that's right. Someone that's not supposed to be in this world. That's the link but to a world that was severed 20, 10 years ago. The missing piece of the puzzle. That's the lowdown. The rest is up to you, Sergei. We need to first get that divine protection or whatever from the water dragon. Well, I don't know about you, but I probably don't need no dragon protecting me to get through hot water, but that's me. we got to head to the land of Genesis, the place where this all began. Only you know where that is. Before we go, I'll leave this in your keeping for a while. But don't you dare lose it on me. Okay, so you get the astral amulet. Alright, let's go to the place where this all began. So kids, rejoined your party. I will be putting her in, but just, uh, not just the second here. Do that once I'm on the wall, Matt. Alright, let's go. Alrighty then, so let me actually... Uh, we're going to take Nikki out of the party at this point. So I'm going to remove everything from him. And let me also check... Equipment there. Alright. Now 
I will put... You can take Nikki, I'll put Kid in. Alrighty then. Now let's go ahead and allocate her elements. Let's see. Definitely give her lots of reds. I got to fill up. Okay, here, let's... Uplift is good there. Uh, how about... Uh, Electro Jolt is good, and how about a Meteorite? And then, actually, let me take that Fire Pillar. This is the best red element I have. I'm going to put it here. Photon beam there. And we'll put hmm, a magma bomb there. And how about um oh, There we go. I'm sticking arrow saucer here. But actually I'm gonna go to Termina anyway, so I might be able to buy some better elements. Let's check. I want to see about getting her some new equipment. So I got all this iron, might as well use it, right? And there's probably iron armor that I'll need to get, and you know. So I'm pretty sure she's still using bone daggers. I don't even know if she had a bronze dagger. But first, let's see about elements. Okay, let's do it. Let's see. So yeah, there's some new ones. There's Cure Pluses, Heal Alls, a couple more Fire Pillars. I can buy Aqua Balls now, Bush Basher, uh, Peoples. Okay, so actually, let me uh, look at my elements now, especially since I haven't filled up some spots here. All right, I'm going to give you... You don't have a lot of green, so I'm going to give you a Bush Basher over here. You I'll change that to a bush basher. And as for you, same thing actually, since he's a green and eight. All right, let's go over to the smithy and see about some new equipment. Just for kid, really. What am I doing? That's not that way. Skelly's house. All right, uh, this way. Come on. All right, let's do it. All right, yeah. Um, Iron Dagger, definitely want one of those. Okay. And let me look at armor. Hmm. All right, I get three iron males. One. One. Two and three. And let's see about iron helmets. Do I need any? I think I would just need one. Oh, I don't have oh I don't have screws. Alright, hold on, well I'll come back. Let me just uh equip this stuff. Yeah, I know about the damn rainbow shell, Jesus Christ. Yeah, okay, he needs... Yeah, she still has bone stuff, so Iron Dagger. 
iron mail. And you get iron mail. All three of them need iron helmets. Uh, but she could use some other accessories. Let's see, I'm going to give her... Um, how about the Dragoon Gauntlet and the Magic Ring? So let me just check. What do I need? Screws? Is that what's stopping me here? Yeah, I need three screws. So let me disassemble some stuff. Probably accessories, since most helmets have screws in them. There we go. That's three right there. Alright, so one iron helmet, two iron helmets, and three iron helmets. Okay. One. He didn't, she didn't have a helmet on, so that's good. And, uh, there we go. Alright, so we're all equipped up. Let's go to the other world. We've done everything we can do in another world for now. We're going to have to come back later on. The thing is, we won't be able to do a whole lot in Homeworld, because um, we don't have a boat there yet. Uh, there will be a guy in Arnie Village that will take us to Water Dragon Isle and then back. But, um, yeah. You don't actually get a boat until in Homeworld until later in the game. All right, rock and roll, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's those cats again. And I realized I could have just walked to Arnie Village, and that would have been probably faster. But it's good to have the boat up here, so that when I come back, it'll be right there. I don't have to walk all the way up the terminal. So Pasa Beach. I think the first time you do this, there's a little scene, and then after that, you just have to walk up to. A little black spot on the ground and use the astronaut. The Posse Beach, yeah, so this is it. The point of contact and the starting point. This is the cross point. What do we do now, Sergey? Where is it? There it is. Dimensional distortion. An open scene to the world. A wormhole that traverses dimensions. The world's calling you, Sergey. Calling the lost piece of the puzzle. So this is the dimensional wormhole that connects the two worlds. Let's do it. So you just use the astral amulet and... You get to watch the FMV. Which it only shows if you're actually controlling, Sergey. I, uh, not to give you spoilers, but there's a whole portion of the game where you're somebody else. Sort of, kind of. You could skip that, too, but... If you're the other character, which you'll see later on, you just it gives you like a non-FMV version of that. Oh, that was it. So now we're in that other world. Still cannot believe it, though. Well, the overworld music will be different, so hopefully that'll have you believe it. All right. We're just going to head right over to Arneville. We could also go to um, the Hydra Marshes, but I'm going to do that a little later. You'll see why. Oh, get out of the way. Jesus, woman. Alright, yeah, we're going out here to where Lena is, was, whatever. By the way, if you bring Lena and, 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 and talk to the other Lena, it's a whole thing. It's pretty funny, but I'm going to be doing that later, so... Let's talk to her, though. Sergey, where have you been? You had me worried sick. You just suddenly disappeared from the beach. That was some magic trick. Don't even think about pulling that one again. Once is enough for me. God, you have no idea what's going on. Uh... Oh, it's you, Sergey. Great day, huh? How's your day been? What was that? You want me to take you to Water Dragon Isle? Well, it's not too far. So I'm willing to take you there for a hundred gold. Yes, take me. Great, shall we get going? Meow, 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 meow.
Alright. Okay, here we are. Oh, it's been a while since I visited this isle, but its beauty never fades. But there's something strange. I don't see any of the fairies that usually dance around the pond. Oh, pardon me. There's a small village of fairies in this isle. It should be just beyond this pond. I don't know what brings you to this isle, but it's best to ask the fairies to learn about this place. In the meantime, I'll be around here fishing. This pond is great for fishing. Alright, so we're doing the lily pad jump. There's a couple of treasures we can get by not always taking the optimal path. Come on, Circa, get on the damn lily pad. Dude, you won't get on it. Alright, let's walk slowly towards it, mashing the X button. Usually that does the trick when he won't get on something. There we go! Bloody hell, man. Of course, there's actually nothing there, so that was worthless. Alrighty then. Okay, get on that. Come on, get on that. Yeah. I don't have a whole lot of nothing there, but I can get up here. Aqua ball, alright. By the way, there's actually two ways to do this next part, uh, but it actually only matters if you took the other path and tried to save Kid and did the Hydra Marshes in Homeworld. So um, I'm just going to be going through it like just normally without anything special. Because there's actually a character that may or may not die, and it's a whole thing. But um, And it has to do with a, char uh, a character, Razzly, that I would have gotten if I took another path and getting one of her techs. But since I don't even have Razzly in the group, it doesn't matter. Up we go. And down we go. It's an Ice Blast. That is a pretty powerful blue element. Here we are. Shit's about to go down. What brings humans here? If you intend to intrude, you will not be given a warm welcome. This land is the new home of the dwarves. Humans are not welcome here. Be gone with yourselves. The dwarves are, ha are fucking hilarious because they talk about how... They got, you know, humans destroy the environment, and they just pillage and kill and all this shit, and um, they got displaced from the Hydra Marshes, but they're just doing what worse to the fairies. He killed everyone! So let's fight a few of these dwarves. You don't have to fight all of them, but I do want to try and max before the next boss, which is coming up. So I just got a dwarf, a daggy dwarf, and a daffy dwarf. They're all slightly different, but they are all... Yellow and ink, which means they're highly weak to green elements. So let's be doing some green. They're not particularly tough. This part can be a little time consuming, but that's about it. Yeah, he's the one weak to yellow attacks. Bush Basher. It does make sense that they're diametrically opposed, though. Dwarves are yellow and eight. And, uh, fairies are green. And there is that. So 
Sergey gets a hit point, Kid gets a hit point, Glenn gets a hit point. And I got an upheaval, an electro jolt, and an electro bolt. You're gonna get lots of yellow elements. If you were hurting for yellow elements, man, you get so many of them here. Uh, I might as well fight him. There's nothing else to do up here. You human bastards, how dare you befoul our new lands, too? Alright, they're only your new lands because you befouled and killed all the fairies, you fucking asshole. Okay. Like, there is this, like, undercurrent of environmentalism going throughout the game, but it's definitely not a pro-environmentalist message that the game sends. I mean, it's not against it, but it's showing that sometimes, you know, you can go to these extremes and, and wind up like these assholes, and you see it a lot throughout the game. Just leave this asshole. Oh, why did me to do that? No, no. Glenn, do it. I'm gonna do a lot of damage to these guys anyway. If he can even hit them! Holy shit! Here comes Electro Jolt. Oh, you're gonna wish I didn't do this. So obviously dash and slash and dash and dash are very similar, that's why they combine to make extract. Just can't figure out why extract is red in it. It's weird. Alright, I got an upheaval and an electro jolt out of that. Alright. Uh look over here. Is there anything up here? There's a treasure over there. You can't get it from here. Come on, circuit. Ooh, thank you. Hey, wake up! Please answer me! Why, why, oh why? Because dwarves are assholes. I'm gonna fight them till I, uh, till I max at least. Which I don't think will take too much longer, but we'll see. These are three daffy dwarfs. Gee, I wonder if this will kill him. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm not even trying to steal from them. I just want to get through this quickly. So this this particular video is not insanely long. Well, I'm going to go up to the Water Dragon and stop there. The trip back will be next time. There you go. Very nice. Okay, Sergey gets a hit point, Kid gets a hit point, Glenn gets a hit point, and I got three Electro Bolts. That's awesome. Those are level fours, you know. Those are great to have. There's one over here, too. Spinning around like an asshole. Hi-ho! How daring! You shall perish in the depths of the sea, along with those fairies, you filthy humans. Man, has there ever been a game where the dwarven race, so to speak, weren't portrayed as shitcocks? I mean, even in Dragon Age, where I kind of thought the dwarves were kind of cool in that one, they were still portrayed as, you know, they had slight shitcock tendencies in that. Very nice. Might as well have Glenn do it. Oh, Electro Jolt. Probably won't even need magic. Yep. But if you're at this point in the game and you're still using copper weapons, you're doing it wrong, so. Okay. Alright, I got two electro bolts, so that was cool. What about you? Hey. Will you never understand? You do not cherish the treasures of nature as we do. Be gone with you! Well, you certainly didn't cherish these fucking fairies. You know, not that the fairies are really any prize themselves. They're kind of assholes, too, because they wind up blaming the humans for this, because they're like, oh, the humans drove the dwarves out, and that's why they came here. And it's like, well, yeah, maybe that's the case, but nobody told the dwarves to murder anybody. You know, maybe the humans were shitty to the environment, but they didn't go around fucking murdering dwarves, you know?
Alright. He's poisoned too, that's hilarious. Tap him lightly! Oh yeah. That'll end it. Oh yeah. Oh my. Alright, and I got an upheaval, an electro jolt, and an electro bolt. Move! Alright, let's go up this way. I will not tolerate any humans trespassing beyond this point. Defy me and you will face the consequences. Well, I'll fuck you, man! We came here to see the water dragon, not you fucking assholes. What's funny is the fairies are all like, This is our island! And the doors are like, This is our island! Oh god, fucking high hill chorus. A and really, it's the water dragon island. I mean, it says it right in the name. Whole shit cock load of dwarves here. So even though it's not their weakness, I'm gonna use magma bombs just so I can hit them because there's so many of them. I mean, there's six of them. Very soon to be five. Oh, she can hit the guy. The more you take out, the less they can use things like Hi-Ho Chorus, so... Alright. You could probably take out a few of them. That's one. That's two. Do you have a Magma Bomb? Oh, that's X-Strike. No, alright, I'll just... Just use Bush Basher. Alright, Sergei will end this. I hope War Cry. Same thing, it's it's one person instead of, like, multiples. Eat it! I see why I put all the powerful <laughs> green elements right before this part, right? Alright, it's over. Right, so that actually counted as a boss, go figure. Okay, Sergey, uh, 14 hit points, 1 strength, 1 magic, a level 1 spot on his grid kit, 11 hit points of resistance, level 1 spot on the grid. Glenn, 9 hit points and a resistance. And I got an upheaval, uh, electro jolt, a copper, and 3 electro bolts. Oh, that was a pretty sweet haul, all things considered. Urgh, such strength! It seems I've underestimated you humans. This will not happen a second time. Retreat! Talruf! Beardoff! You guys are cocks. Just saying. Alright, let's allocate. Alright, so you, I'm gonna get. Oh, you could use actually an uplift. Lift right there, and you. I'm gonna give you a. Um, if I have a photon beam, that would be the thing. Yeah, there it is. Oh, no, not photon beam. Photon ray. What the hell is wrong with me? Actually, since I have an extra photon beam, I should give that to Sergey, since he actually doesn't have one equipped. And right there would be a good place for it. All right, we're good. Come here, asshole. This is a pretty cool part of the game. The only, like, annoying thing is how the battle music never stops. Like, I like the battle music in this game, I really do, but... God damn, it never stops in this part. Okay, Sergey, way, way to miss. I gotta hope his arrow saucer's enough to take him out. Might be. Nope. Alright, Glenn, just, just give him a little tap. Did 
This arrow saucer should do it, though. Considering he's using it. There we go. Very cool. Alright, Sergey got a hit point, Kid got a hit point, and they're gonna Electro Jolt in a Copper. You, come here. You do get to fight a Dwarven tank at the end of this, and there's not much more to it. You notice they're putting a lot of battles on each screen, and the reason is because it's a pretty small area. Ah, you suck. Alright, they're two Daffy Dwarves. Yo! Should do it. Alright, Sergey, I get Max. Sergey gets a strength kit, two hit points, and Glenn, two hit points. Or hit point, or whatever. That's weird that I just got strength. Electro, Bolt, and Leather. But I did Max since I got something other than hit points. So, actually, I don't think I want to go up that way. I want to go up this way. This is just a treasure chest to get. Pretty sure this is the right way. Nope, that is not the right way. I gotta go up the higher one, where there's a dwarf hanging around there, of course. Let's see if I could avoid him. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. Alright, I got a magic ring. Was it worth it? I guess. Move out of the way, Dwarfy. You're fucking stupid hi-ho ass the fuck out of here. Alright. There's also another little hidden area behind that waterfall. I think it's this waterfall. Or it might be on the next place. I don't know. Is it there? No, it's not there. Okay, then it's the next area. There's not a whole lot to this area, but I remember you have to go behind a waterfall at one point. Now it's this waterfall. You can even see it. I'm not going to fight those two guys. They're just blocking a save point anyway. This is the weirdest Max I've ever experienced. Ah, fuck. I think it's a Daggy Dwarf. Three of them, whatever they are. I think they're Daggy Dwarfs. No, these are the Daffy ones. You know, just lead off with Glenn. He's the most damage anyway. Yeah, I mean, because he could take two of them out right now. One with a sword, and then he uses that bush basher and take another one right out, and then only leaves one guy. Which Sergei can more than handle. See? Told you. Okay, kid. Get, oh, I haven't maxed. Well, that's weird because he got a strength. Kid got a hit point. I thought I was maxed. All right, three electro bolts. Who knows what the fuck's going on with this? Let's go behind here. No, this treasure is mine. I'm not giving it up. You'd be giving it up when I fucking kill your fucking stupid ass, you fucking dwarf shithole fucker. Fuck. That was a lot of cursing right there. <laughs> Fuck missing, Glenn, Jesus. At least your combo didn't get interrupted. Well, that's just the regular vanilla dwarf, so... There he goes. And there goes the daggy dwarf. Just leaves the daffy one for Sergei. This is one of those one-of-each situations. Electro Jolt! Well, at least he didn't do it to Sergei. Owned. All right. And a copper, an electro jolt, and an electro bolt. All right. So there's a scaly dress, which is armor that I'm probably not going to use. So we're just about done here. There we go. Humans helping fairies, you surprise me. However, there's no way I can allow you to leave here alive. You'll pay for not heeding our warnings with your death. 
So this is the next boss. Here comes the high ho tank. Oh yeah, that's good for the environment. Shit at. All right, let's start by taking out the side doors because they can sometimes try to repair it. Bushwhacker on that guy. Just making sure the Hyo tank is yellow and eight. I figured it would be, and it is. Although since it's a machine, I, you know, you'd think it'd be white and eight, but it's not. Here comes Element Shot. Since it's black element, I assume you're going to be aiming this at Sergey. No, you're aiming it at Glenn. Well, that's stupid. I mean, it did good damage, but I mean... Really? Okay... Uh, Pilfer. Yoink! And I got a knee pad. A knee pad, of all things. Bloody fucking hell. Hi, Rez. Kind of need that with Glenn doing that kind of damage to you. Alright. Well, since Glenn did get a little hurt and I do have a heal, let's use it. Oh, did I just use it on the fucking enemy? Yeah, I did. I'm an idiot. Oh, there you go. Sergey, kid, Glenn, right? No, Sergey, kid, hi ho tank for some reason. I can't figure that out. I could run away, but eh, only if he's in trouble will I do that. Fucking arrow saucer. God damn it, that's just stupid. Another element shot. Once again, black element. Aiming it at Kid. Okay then. I mean, the damage ain't bad, but that would have really wrecked Sergei. Even with that high res, I'm still fucking him up. A white element shot. That won't really do good against anybody, but... Let's see who you're using it on. <laughs> I'm the one guy who's going to have the best resistance to it. Oh, well, Jesus Christ, he got, like, stunned or something. I guess that helped, huh? Better start just unloading on this motherfucker since Sergei's kind of out of it at this point. Since he can't move. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's over! Great, that, that was good that I did that. No! Get out of it! Oh! Fuck! Hey, you can see my house from here. Oh, fuck! Oh, shit, I exploded. That is, like, awesome. You got it. You can't, you can't argue with that. That's like the Michael Bay death animation for a boss there. All right, so growth level 13... Sergey gets 9 hit points, 2 strength, 1 resistance, and 1 magic, a level 4 spot on his grid. Kid, 11 hit points, a strength, a resistance, a magic, a magic resistance, a level spot, 4 spot on her grid. Glenn, 3 hit points, a resistance, a magic resistance, and a level 4 spot on his grid. Heal it. Okay, got 2 upheavals and a knee pad. As well as the knee pad that I already stole from the thing, so go figure. Ugh, such strength! Are we to be driven off our land once again? Is there no land on this planet where we could live in peace? Oh, goddess of fate, why are we dealt such a hand? Maybe because you came in here murdering fairies. Are humans really the greatest species on this planet? Damn right. These heretics of evolution, these destroyers of the planet? Ugh. I'll just shut up and die already. 
Sergey, there's a fairy over there. I know I was walking towards it, kid. I can see it. Sergey, is it all right? Ah, who are you? I'll be fine. The other fairies, are they all right? I do not feel their presence in the caves anymore. I'm sure it is safe outside as well. We're sorry, but wait right here a minute. We need to go further into the cave. It will only be a little while. Alright, let's do it. Welcome, son of man. Now come to me. Here he is, the blue dragon. It's obviously a dragon for every element color. And a seventh one. But we'll find out about that way later. Thou needest not explain. I know already what thou seekest here. There is naught to be surprised about. It is but a trifle for we sleeping dragons who have dwelt upon this land for ages. Mount Pyre, the land thou seekest, is home to the fire dragon. Unless thou quenchest red blazes, it will prove a difficult journey. Take this, son of man. My breath can freeze even boiling lava. Sergei's been bestowed the ice breath. Take my subordinate as well. It shall be useful in holding back the fire dragon on Mount Pyre. So you get the Frog Prince Summon Element, which can only be used by a blue and eight. So actually, when I go through Mount Pyre, I'm about to be, uh, bring either Nikki or Lena with me. Probably Nikki, because he's a way better character. Wilt thou change this world, or wilt thou change thyself? Why not both? Wilt thou live on yeah, with thy mother planet, or wilt thou turn thy back on the planet and tread another path? They said they were chased out of the forest by the humans, and they drifted down to our island. So the humans are to blame. No, it's the dwarves. Just because they were drifted down here doesn't mean they should have started killing you guys. Because of you humans, our village, our friends have been made victims. Why can't humans live in harmony with nature? Why do you continue to act the way you do? I don't know, you guys are nature. Humans are nature. Dwarves are nature. Sounds like y'all are full of shit. Don't you see what the outcome of your choices will bring in the future? Why? Why? You crooks, I hate all you wicked humans. Hurry up and get off this island. Now you're a shithead. A very sad tragedy, triggered by the acts of humans. No, triggered by the acts of dwarves who were murderous little trolls. It'll save you from those murderous trolls. I just want to say that. We've lost so many of our people and loved ones. Although our village has been saved, no mere, no one here thinks kindly of man. Well, I mean, we could have just, like, not fought the dwarves off and let them kill you all. Could have done that. I'm extremely sorry, but please leave the island as soon as you can. You're a shithead. Oh, kid just fell over. And there's a reason for that, which we're about to find out. Some familiar looking characters. Crayon drawings. You get to see those drawings more in depth later. Gee, I wonder who this is. Could it be the furry Mr. T? Yes, that's Lynx. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Where am I? I fainted, eh? Yeah, stop doing that. It's getting annoying. Passing out, poisoning, you know, all that shit. Just quit it already, kid. What the fuck? Sorry. Did I wake you up? I had a bad dream. Seeing that fairy's eyes filled with tears over losing her friends. 
must have triggered memories in my own past. God damn, it's hot in here. I was an orphan. I was abandoned when I was a baby. There was someone who took me in and raised me as if I were her own little sister. I'm alive here thank today thanks to her. There were a lot of others like me at Sis's place, and she was always making strange stuff. We didn't have money, but we were all happy. Up until that Lynx bastard came and shattered our happiness to pieces. Lynx raided our house, burned it down, and kidnapped Sis. Sister never came back. Since then, I've wandered the world and experienced so much pain, just to get by. No one was there to help me, I was always alone. If you ask me, the idea of guardian angels watching over us all the time, that's a load of rubbish. In this world, the underhanded always gets the last laugh. Only the ones who don't think anything are hurting others are the ones who get blood, who get blood stained fortunes. The ones who kill, the ones who devour, they're the ones who survive. That's the only rule of this world. The great species of mankind, our wonderful world filled with love and happiness. Ha! Don't make me laugh. But if that's how it is, that's fine with me. As long as I'm alive, there ain't no going back. I'll abide by this world's rules and do what I gotta do, despite the rotten hand of cards I've been dealt. I'll make sure that bloody bastard pays for what he's done. I will get even, no matter what it takes. Alrighty then, we're going to end this video soon, and head to Mount Pyre probably, but... Actually, let's just end it here. I mean, there's a little scene where the fisherman's not there, and then he is, but let's just end it here. I'll see you guys real soon with more videos. Keep an eye out. See you then.